Hello guys, we have some data mine class changes for the next patch 11.05 and let me tell you, I'm just gonna talk about the DK changes first of all, my god, Deadbringer is getting some nice buffs for Frost DK so let's get into the changes first of all, for Blood, there's like a 20% hard strike damage nerf painful that now, this doesn't exist anymore or should I basically say it's baseline now? So anytime you cast as a Blood DK Marrow Rand or Obliterate as a Frost DK, you're gonna get two stacks for Exterminate. Now here I see minus 5%, that's probably a 5% nerf overall damage for the whole Death Knight, doesn't matter if you're Unholy, Frost or Blood. And PvP Multiplier from 1, now it's 0. Now I don't really know what this means because one means nothing to me and zero as well nothing because if you would have like two that would mean that it's gonna deal twice the damage now arctic assault the glacial advance deals only 80 percent damage now it's like 20 percent nerf enduring strength now this has been changed from zero eight to one so i guess now we're gonna get the amount of strength that the tooltip actually says as well in pvp and in pve now I see that torrent no change, obliteration no change. Now here comes the best part. Deadbringer. Find in darkness. What has been changed? 10% increased damage to blood boil. And 30% increased damage to holding blast when you cast it with rhyme. Dark talents. Now this has been changed that now you have a 25% chan chance with killing machine or rhyme to grant 3 stacks of icy talons and increases its maximum stacks by the same amount for 6 seconds. Now this is much better. This way you have a chance to stack icy talons very fast. Exterminate. Now this is what I said before regarding the painful death. Now this has been made baseline. As you see, your next two marrow rands or your next two obliterates. You don't need that talent anymore. Everybody is gonna have two exterminates to exterminate the enemies. Grim Reaper, now this is new. I kinda like this. Maybe I'm gonna use it, maybe not. We'll see. Reaper's Mark grants you three charges of Bone Shield if you blood, but you get instantly a killing machine if you're a frost. But this means the second you cast Reaper's Mark, you get one killing machine. And if I already have one killing machine, I can get two killing machines and I can just blow the enemy up so this is a very nice change. I really love it. Now, they changed this talent. Now we have Reaper of Souls, which you actually have to choose. Are you gonna play Grim Reaper or Reaper of Souls? Now, Soul Reaper is gonna deal 20% more damage, but you need to have it talented, of course, if you wanna play this. And when you apply Reaper's Mark, the cooldown of Soul Reaper is reset, costs no runes, and it and it will explode on the target. Doesn't matter how much HP they have. Now Reaper's Onslaught. You reduce the cooldown of your Reaper's Mark by 15 seconds, but you will then have only one Exterminate. I personally, 99%, I'm not gonna use this talent. i rather have two Exterminates in a row, because th that's where the damage is. You can try this out maybe with the uh, Reaper of Souls talent, so you get more Soul Reapers, Runecraft Plates. Now, this was 2% before in PvE and 1% per stack in PvP. But today I checked on the PTR, it's actually giving 1.5% even in PvP. So if that's true, we can get up to 8% damage reduction and that's a little, little nice tiny buff for our defense. Soul Rupture. Now, the explosion from Reaper's Mark has been buffed by 10% both for Blood and for Frost. For Frost it was 20%, now it's 30%. Swift End. Now, if no enemies are struck by Soul Rupture, you get 10% strength for 8 seconds. Now, what Soul Rupture is, it's the explosion from Reaper's Mark. So if Reaper's Mark explodes and the AoE hits nobody, only your main target, then you're gonna get 10% strength buff. And Wave of Souls, you know the Shadow Frost damage that goes out and comes back to you, it's gonna deal 100% more damage. Only on the target on who you casted Reaper's Mark. I really love this. Wither away. Now, everybody has this. 
we don't have anymore the blood fever so that your blood plague or frost fever has a chance to deal 30% increased damage as shadow frost but we got this one now always so your dots gonna deal 100% faster the damage so half the duration instead of 24 seconds it's gonna last 12 seconds not bad because this is actually gonna give us more reaper's mark stacks all right after apocalypse we got only nasgrim changed the buff with strength from three percent to five and for sand lane both for unholy and blood blood beast it's gonna deal reduced damage beyond eight targets and that's everything regarding dk changes for 1105 now this is what i prefer to play if you want to play the Soul Reaper build, if you don't want to play Soul Reaper, you're gonna go Grim Reaper, which gives you immediately one killing machine stack, so it's easier to burst. Now, since Rhyme Holding Blast has been buffed, we might go Icebreaker. Or we might still play the Smoothering Offense with Icy Death Torrent. I am really satisfied with this because in the last days all I saw were nerfs and nerfs and I hope Blizzard will not nerf Frost DK. Leave it at least one patch so that you can actually play it because they always get so crazy nerfed in the end. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you are happy about these changes as I am and leave a comment below. What do you think about these changes? See you guys in the next video. Bye. Beneath the ice and snow, a legend awakens. I am Arthas, the Lich King ruler of the damned master of Frostmourne.